program helping small businesses thrive, giving billions, billions to help women secure special funding for their companies and be part of the American dream. Welcome to LIHA. Sheila Black is a small business owner in Harlem, New York with a big vision. I started LIHA in 2013, right on 125th Street. I literally borrowed the table, grabbed two pieces of fabric, and I was open for business. In 2018, Sheila converted her street side shop into a fashion boutique on wheels, but struggled to get the small business loan she needed. So many women have been shut out of financial mainstream and the traditional banks just don't give them the opportunity when they don't have good credit and they don't have any collateral. It's a barrier the nonprofit Grameen America is working to break, offering two billion dollars in microloans, serving 137,000 women nationwide, helping small business owners like Sheila thrive. What I'm most proud about LIHA is that it provides a way for me to live my dream and live independently. Yes, indeed. And we have a pair of her beautiful, beautiful earrings right here. They are going home with me. You can, let's bring in now Bridgewater Associates Chairman and founding member of Grameen America, Ray Dalio. And Ray, I have been looking forward to talking to you about this. I know how passionate you are about the program. Can you explain to folks what exactly is a microloan? <clears throat> um, it's an average of a $4,500 loan that makes miracle happen. You saw Sheila. Um, th this is a intelligent, clever woman who can, can uh, give to her community uh, and just needed a little bit of enablement. And uh, Grameen has given away or lent uh, $2 billion. Mm to such people at an average of about 4,700 each. My God, that is fabulous, right? It right. brings entrepreneurship. It brings wonderful things to the community. Wow, how I can't know. you love it? I know, that was with a B, billion. And so uh, explain about how the, how the loan works. Billion. Uh, well, um, they go through a process um, in which uh, the uh, person seeking the loan comes in, goes through a series of mm -hmm. uh, exercises, and there's a little community of other people receiving the loan, and they m sort of make the judgment of who are they going to give the first loan to because they believe that that person's going to be successful. And then they pick that, and they build this little community, and then they give that micro loan, that little loan that makes this magic happen, and then they have that, uh, that community, and it pays back, and it grows, and 99% percent repayment rate. Wow. That's better than all the rich folks who are going to banks. They, they, they're not as reliable. <laughs> 99 percent payment rate. And think about this. For every, uh, I, I support it philanthropically, for every dollar somebody donates to this, it lends, it keeps going around and around, it lends 12 dollars over the next 10 years and it keeps going. So it pays for itself, it makes all this wonderful thing happen. Wow, can't, yeah. how can't you do it? So I would say if you're interested in supporting it, it's fabulous, Green Mean America. And also, if you're interested in being one of these mm. entrepreneurs with the, uh, you know, that little bit of uh, help, go for it because yeah. it makes the world a better place. It's, it, it's more the American dream, really. I know, and I, know, I love your passion. I love your passion for this. Okay, we heard from Sheila. And now we're going to hear from Mitzi, who owns a, a hair salon here in New York. What advice would you have for entrepreneurs pursuing both short-term and long-term vision for their business? What's your advice, Ray? Well, um, first of all, first of all, if um, when you're in a, in a business, it's not like going to a regular job in which you get a paycheck and you do the same thing all the time. You have to be flexible and imaginative. And then you have to make uh, your passion and your work the same thing, like you're into it. And it's a rewarding job that way. And then also, you can't forget about the money part. So you got to be practical. So think about it. When COVID comes along and you have to really uh, readapt, you do that. And that's what brings you, uh, you know, the success. And so you, th that would be my advice. Be flexible and imaginative. 
uh, make your work and your passion the same thing and make sure you get the money part right. Yeah, and to start, uh, love the ride. I know that you do. You got to love the ride that you're on in building a business. You got to love the ride <laughs> and be adaptable. Yeah, and we saw a lot of people pivot after the, uh, during the pandemic. Ray Dalio, thank you. Thank you and others for your passion and what you're doing to make a true difference for so many. You take care. Hope to see you again, Ray. And for more information on the microloans, you can visit Grameen America's website.